Good day everyone, my name is Vanika and welcome to a new video. So if you are familiar with my channel then you know that recently I created a new series called Combat Achievement Locked and this is a series where I try to complete every single combat task in the game um, by using a tool that I created in Excel to randomize my tasks. I basically created a tool that works like a Slayer Master in RuneScape to go to, uh, you can go and assign a task if you don't want to do it, you can put it in the storage or you can skip it. There's like this whole game element to it. And in this video, I'm going to explain how the tool works. Maybe you want to use it yourself um, because there's actually a lot that you can use it for. If you really want to, you don't even have to do it for just combat tasks. You could do it for literally any task you want to set yourself in the game. So I think that's pretty interesting. Now, before you actually go and watch the entire video, I am going to uh, recommend you to take a look at the timestamps that I created for the video, all the chapters, because I will probably be rambling a lot. And if there is a specific question you're asking yourself, you may want to just look there and just look it up. That may be faster. But if you are interested in watching the entire video, then, you know, that's so totally fine as well. Um, so I guess let's just uh, get started. So basically, before you open the file you have to actually download it of course uh, you can find a link in almost every episode of my combat that you've been locked uh, series uh, i think in every episode not almost every episode and once you download it you first have to right click the file and then go to properties because first you have to allow macros this excel file was created with macros um, it's actually the very first project ever that I've done with macros, so I'm not really that great at it. So if you are a very experienced macro user, um, then you probably see that the code that I created for this is really bad. But I tried to make it as foolproof as possible, and I think I really managed to do that quite well. So we'll get to that later on. Um, but if you finally managed to uh, do all that, you allowed macros, you open this file... Then you can see there's a couple tabs that you can navigate to. You have the progress tab, that's basically the first tab you go into. And then there's easy, like you can see at the bottom, easy, medium, hard, elite, master, and grandmaster. But first let's talk about this progress tab. So on the left side, um, I've basically explained what you can uh, do with this sheet and what the buttons mean, all that kind of stuff. And at the right, you can see like this overview of all the progress that we have made. Now, this is a new file, so we've made no progress right now. But there's progress for every tier individually. And then, of course, also for the overall uh, uh, tier, like the overall progress, and then the current reward tier that, you're, that we are in. So as you can see, first we have this uh, total tab. Then we have the completed amount of tasks. Then the amount of points you've gained for that. And the, per the progress in percentages, basically. Um, I will show you how it, what it looks like when we've completed some tasks later on. All right, so that is all about the uh, progress tab, the, the overview tab. And now let's go to the easy tab and show you what it looks like. So if you've already seen my videos, then you know what it looks like already, but hey, this is it. So there's two main buttons here. We have the assign task button and the complete task button. These are the ones you'll be using the most. Obviously, when you assign a task, it'll appear in the current easy task tab. And once you complete it, it'll be it'll go to the completed section. So let's just go and try and see what happens if we do that. So we go and assign a task. We click the button, and we get Shazian Protector. Kill a Lizardman Shaman in Mulch, which has not dealt damage to anyone. Now there's a couple things you can do. You can go and try to complete this task, and once you've succeeded, you can go and click this button, or you can put it in the task storage. Now, it kind of depends on what you want to use the, the this sheet for. Like, if you don't want to follow my rules that I created for my series, then I guess you don't really need the task storage. You could, in theory, like, skip tasks for as much as you want, but I don't know what your goals are, so I'm just explaining it in a way so you know how I have to deal with all this. So let's say you want to um, put this task in the task storage, then you can navigate that with these arrows. So, obviously, arrow to the left, to the task storage, we click that, and there we go, Shazian Protector is now in the task storage. So that means we can leave it there for a while and go and assign ourselves a new task. So we click again and we get a slow death. And that says, kill Bryophyta with either poison or venom being the final source of damage. Now, I just want to show you why I made it foolproof like as much as possible. If I want to try and store this task as well, then it will say... Yeah, I don't think you can see the message, but it will give you like a an error message or like a warning like, hey, you have already stored a task, so you cannot do that. I see on the recorder screen that you guys can't see it, but there's like a, basically a warning here. So I click OK and it doesn't work. 
Uh, same goes for assigning a new task. As you can see, it keeps loading, but it doesn't work. It says, complete your current task first. All right. So that's just to show you that it actually does work in that way. Now, let's say we complete this task. So we click on this uh, complete task button, and then it'll appear in the completed section. Then you can see that the easy tasks have been updated. It says we have completed one easy task now, and there's a total of 33. If we now move back to the progress tab, and let's scroll a bit to the right, then you can see here that we have done 3% of all the easy tasks. We have completed one easy task, we got one point, 3%, that is overall 0.2%, but we have not hit any rewards yet. So the current reward tab is still at none. All right, so once more, let's move back to the easy tier. There's a couple more things that you can do. Um, as you can see, the to-do list is all the tasks that are left uh, of this specific tier. Now, what if you want to use this tool, but you have already completed a set amount of tasks? Let's say you have already completed the entire easy tier, for example. You can, of course, auto-complete tasks because it would be quite a task to go and assign all these random tasks and then go into complete that way. That's super annoying. So what you can do is you can, for example, select every single one of them by just clicking and holding and dragging like to um, all the tasks. And once you've selected them all, you can click on the arrow to put them to the completed section. And I made a mistake somewhere, I noticed. Oh, of course, I didn't make a mistake. Uh, there's one task still in the storage. I was like, hey, why is it 32 out of 33? But no, there's one task in the storage. So I, in theory, I could move it back and then say complete and then bam. As you can see, 33 out of 33. But if there are some tasks that you haven't completed yet, you can go and click, for example, Calm Before the Storm. You can go put that back and it'll all work like that. The only problem there is with this is that you can uh, only select multiple tasks if they are next to each other. So if you can drag, hold and drag. But you can't, I don't know why that is, that's like something that Excel doesn't allow. If you, for example, want to move uh, Calm Before the Storm and then Cozy, you can hold control normally and click and for Noxious Foe and King Black Dragon Novice, you see I selected multiple, but for some reason it doesn't allow um, me to move it to the completed section now. So you can't see the message once again, but if I click, it'll keep loading and it says there's an error. So that's kind of annoying. So I guess that if you have completed like only a few tasks, then you might just want to go and select them one by one. So let's say, oh, you've done Handyman, you've done a Slow Death. But if there's more tasks you have completed than you have not completed, I would advise you to just select them all put them to the, to the completed section, and then move just a couple back that you haven't done yet. Um, in theory, though, you could be using this thing for basically every single task that you would like to set yourself, like any task. It could be something that has nothing to do with combat tasks. Um, right now, the sheet is protected, so that means you can't really click on anything. But let's say you want to add a task. Let me first go and put everything back to the to-do section. So there we go, we have zero tasks completed now. If we go to the easy tab and we right click, once again, you can't see it, it's kind of annoying, but if you do that, there's this thing called unprotect sheet. You can click that and now I can basically select anything. So under the list, so under the to-do list, there's basically more cells that you could like use up to put more tasks in. So what if I, for example, uh, copy the uh, task a slow death and I paste it right here, enter, and now I can edit this one and I say, for example, new task. And once again, I can right click that. You can't see it, but I can um, edit a comment and then I can say um, new task. And now the new task is on the list. And when assigning a task, there's now a chance to actually get this task assigned. So let me try to do that as well to show you how that basically works. So I just want to have a couple tasks left. Otherwise, there's a very small chance we roll the task. So if I now assign a task, we get a slow death, okay, we're not gonna do that. We get a slow death again, all right. New task, there we go. And basically, this is how you can do that. So that is how you can randomize this task. Um, all right, we put that in the completed section and this one as well. Oh, of course, we have 34 out of 33. So that means we have to unprotect and edit this as well. And whenever you change something, it will also update in the progress tab. So if I, for example, go and unprotect again, and I change the 33 to 30, 34, then if I go back to the progress tab now, then you can see that it's made out, it's now 34. So it will, you know, keep updating with, with everything. So you don't have to calculate everything one by one. All right. 
So that is basically everything that there is to it. Um, if I miss anything that I guess that I will leave that in the description of the video or in the comment section, I will try to respond to every single one of you. Um, I hope this tool will be of much use to you. I think it's really fun to use it. Uh, of course, once again, a big shout out to Tedious for actually originally coming up with this idea, um, with his Generate Task series. That's how I got inspired to make my series on YouTube. And um, yeah, I hope that everyone can use it and have some fun. So if you have any questions, then feel free to leave that in the comment section of the video. And have fun, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.